Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today, we're going to make torn window pockets with journaling card for our junk journals. But first, let's have our shout out to Marie, Selena, Stacy, Marina, Nancy, Laura, Black Coffee, and Paula. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have some rectangles here. Now they are three and a half by four inches right here. I have some music. I have some mm, ledger type paper. I have some book page. And that's what we're going to use for the front of our torn window. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a circle. Now you could use maybe the bottom of your um, larger fabric tack uh, container. Whatever circle size you choose, it needs to fit in the rectangle here with the border. Okay, so I am going to turn this over. I don't think I have an example made with this, so that's why I'm choosing this one. And I'm just going to turn this over and I'm turning it over because I'm marking on the side that is going to be glued onto some cardstock. So I'm just going around my little circle here and you can see I, I did it dark so you could see it. Then I'm going to bring in my hole punch. Now you don't have to have a hole punch like this. You could have a hole punch like this. It would work just as well and I will show you. What you're doing is you're just punching some holes just to get your fingers in there to start tearing around your circle. So let's just do that. I'm going to start tearing around my circle. Let's get started here. There we go. And I'm not going to tear right up against the circle. I'm going to give it just a little bit of space, as you can see there. And I'm just using the circle as a guideline. Without it, I probably wouldn't have a very good circle and even with it sometimes mine turns out a little wonky <laughs> but you have a little bit of room that you can probably fix it because you're leaving yourself a little border right here or an allowance maybe is the word I need to say and I'm just taking it around just like that and Till we get to where we began. There we go. Well, that's not too awful bad, right? So what I do want to do is I want to ink up the inside of my circle. So I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm just going to ink it all the way around. Just like that. Alrighty, so now we look just like that. I'm going to move these two out of the way. Now, you might say I kind of went into a mass make on these because I made a video, did not like how it turned out. So I made it, I'm making it again and that's this video here. But before I started, I had a few examples there. So I have a few examples to show you at the, at the end. So I'm going to take pictures out of a book and this one happens to be Spring Wildflowers of New England by Marilyn Dooley. And it's a really nice little book. I bought it at the used bookstore that we have here in town. And they're nice small pictures of flowers and plants. And I like the small pictures. I find that it, they're much easier to use, at least for me. Now in my examples, I also used um, some stickers. I used a leaf from my little sticker area here. And I also used a picture from a magazine. So there's some beautiful pictures in magazines and you can use those. And all you have to do is take your little, basically a frame, and just hold it up to certain pictures to see. Now I even think that is pretty right there. And you just see what you like and how it looks. And you can tell right away if it's something that that you like or not, if it's something that will work. And maybe the color, maybe the shape that you want, it, it all just kind of depends 
on what you're making and what look you're going for. So there's all different things you can do, but yes, you can use the magazine for this. And I do have an example showing you that I did just that. So I have a piece of uh, cardstock. It's out of a paper book. I don't care for this. It's not really my style, but I coffee dyed it because I like to use it. It's a nice weight um, paper. And I'm going to, first, I took out a couple of pictures in that book that I just showed you. And I have made some, my examples are like green, and I've even got a purple one. What other colors do I have here, if I can look real quickly? I guess I have two different, a blue one. I have a blue, a purple, and a couple shades of green. So I have some examples to show you, but I don't have an orange one. So I really thought that I would like to do an orange one, and I really like that. I think that's so pretty. So it's so simple to do. Just take your glue, glue of your choice. It does not matter which glue you use, as long as you like it and it works for you. Now, I already said that I'm not going to be on here trying to undo this, so I'll be right back when I get this unstuck. All right, it wasn't stuck very badly. I have been using it all day. I'm surprised it even thought of getting a little stuck, but here we go. We're putting our glue on the side in which I drew the circle on, and that's the side that I'm going to lay onto my picture from my book. And I'm just going to position it, well, maybe something like this. And I'm just going to smooth it out to make sure that it grabs a hold I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to trim out around my rectangle here. Just like that. And then almost completed. There we are. So pretty. So pretty. Whoa, I almost threw my scissors on the floor there. All right, move them over here. I'm going to ink this up just a bit just to make sure that it catches anything that I did not trim. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to glue this now, this little thing that we have made, onto my paper. Now I don't want this side to show. I want this side to show because this is the side you could journal on if you wanted to. So I want to make this into a pocket. So I'm going to hold my fingers right up here at the top to tell myself or to remind myself do not put glue right up here and I'm just going to add my glue to the three sides. Now I'm not adding a lot of glue, at least I'm trying not to. I don't want a big spread inside my pocket that takes away the space and it just means that you're going to have a very small journaling card. So I'm just adding my glue on here, trying not to get too much. and. As I do that, I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to place it right here. And I am going to place it to where I have to trim. I just do better that way. Some of you are very good at just placing it exactly where you want it. And it's perfect. Me, sometimes not so much. So trimming it now. And this is now a pocket. It was just that simple. And it's so pretty. And you don't have to use a digital if you don't want to. There are a lot of beautiful pictures in magazines and in books that we can use in our junk journaling crafts. So there we are. I have that done. Now I'm going to grab my little bone folder and I'm going to show you that it is definitely a pocket just like that. I'm going to open it up, squeeze it just a little bit, see if I can't ink that up right there. Now the next thing I want to do is I am going to make myself a card to go inside here. I am going to cut myself a little piece so I can easily work with it here under the camera. And I want to make it, now this, remember, this is three and a half, this is three and a half by four. So I want to make this one three inches. So let's make sure that we are, we are very, very crooked here. I can see, I can also see that I'm a little long. 
So I'm going to get it in here in my guillotine. I'm going to see if I can't get this trimmed. Yeah, this is very crooked too. Let's see if we can't trim this up so we can get a journaling card that's hopefully straight. And I want to trim it to be about three inches now. I hope this is correct. And assuming that's three inches, we're going to find out. And yes, it fits in nicely. Very nicely. All right. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to trim this off at the top. And I'm just going to mark it. I'm going to make sure that it's really down in there. Okay. I'm going to just mark it like this. It's easiest for me to do it that way. And then I'm just going to trim it. So we're making our journaling card now. So it will fit inside of our pocket that we made. Alrighty. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in my corner rounder. And I'm just going to round the corners here. And I do want to add a little bit of ink on here because I inked my pocket. So if you don't ink, then of course you don't need to do this portion. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in another book page. That's why I had two. And I think this one will be lovely. Now I don't want this part to show, so I'm going to place my book page on top of this so that this will be the journaling paper on the back. So what I want to do is just add my glue, glue of your choice. Any glue that you like is perfect. So we're just going to add it right here. And there we go. So now I have found that if I pick up my card and I lay this, I usually can see it. It leaves a shadow and I can kind of tell where I'm at and Sometimes it really works for me. I'm trying not to get these words on because there's only there. I think that will be that will clear the words, I do believe. I think it's starting to thunder. And the dogs are barking. Yes, it's thundering. Now they're probably all gonna start barking. And I hope I can get through this video before it gets crazy loud. Alright. So we're just trimming around our picture that we mounted on to our journaling card. And around we go, just like that. I really love how these turned out. I think they're so cute. And you can use your book page pictures, excuse me, and you can use your book page for, for the outside of the frame and or other music paper, whatever it is that you that you have on hand, and it just turns out so cute. I just really, really think this project is adorable. Now look at that. So there's the tag that goes inside of our pocket. Now what I also want to do is I'm going to bring in this scrap, and I'm going to bring my, here we are, my tab punch, and I'm just going to punch out one. So let's do that. There we are. There's one that we punched out. I'm going to ink it up just a little bit so it blends with everything else that we're working with here. And I'm going to do both sides because I'm just going to use one. Believe it or not, I think this might be the first project that I've only used one. And then I'm going to glue this onto the back. So I'm just looking to see where my middle is and I'm going to add my glue. I'm using hot glue. It's quick, it's easy, it's great for videos. So it's really off guys. Okay, it's going to be a little off. But I think it might, yeah, it's a little over to this side a little more, but it's okay because what we're going to do now will really kind of hide that fact that it's not really in on there in the middle. Well, that's really doesn't bother me too much, but yeah, I can tell. I have some beautiful sorry silk from my friend over at Crimson Heart Studio. Look at this. The colors are just yummy. I don't know which I want to use because I just think this one is so cool because it has the, the green and the mustardy color. And so I really think I'd like to use this one and then maybe use this one for what I'm thinking of for the tab. 
So I'm going to use my hot glue. I'm placing only a little bit of hot glue down. I'm laying my sorry silk on and I'm pleating it with my fingers. Now, I have used it with a card before. I've used it with a spoon. Believe it or not, um, right now, <laughs> my fingers seem to be doing just what I want them to do with this. Now, you can pleat with any kind of glue, wet glue that you have that will glue fabric. You can use whatever glue of your choice. Once again, the hot glue is really quick and easy for a video and it stays put and it's done and it's not real sticky. Yeah, we get a lot of those little strings that hot glue gets, but it's really for the most part really nice to use for a video. So I'm just gluing down the corners and now let's look how pretty that ruffle is on there. Huh, I just love it. I have also some butterflies. I also have some stamps and I was thinking, oh my goodness, wouldn't that be pretty on there? That is just gorgeous. So there's that one. I don't know which one to use, guys. I really like that bright orange one. There are these and this. There's even a green one, I thought, maybe. But there's something about this one that I absolutely love. I also have some stamps. I have some labels. I'm not sure which I want to use. I'm kind of going towards that because it's green and I just think it makes it go pop. Yeah, I just really, really like that. I've already inked everything up, the butterflies and the stamps, and I'm going to grab this bling right here. I'm going to put these back. I'm going to move it over here, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the tab because that just really just... Um, I don't know, the word is maybe finishes it right on off and it really has the added touch that that I think it needs, this project needs. Okay, so do I really want it there? Maybe like that. And I'm looking for something to daub it with because my glue is kind of coming out on me. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? That's so cute. Now, do I want... I do want, I want some, I'm going to put three up here, but I'm going to put one in the middle. So I'm going to put one bling in the body of the butterfly. So one's going to go there, and then I'm going to put the other three, I better put it on here, on this bling and lay it right up there like that. Oops, see there's a string that kind of grabbed hold of there isn't that so cute now for what we're going to do up here i think this color if i can do what i want to do i want to tie a bow this is a pretty little piece here i can get this bow tied i think it would be so cute with this color right up here at the top but you know what i'm thinking this is way too wide i think it's feeling too wide for me and so I'm opening this up. This is kind of curled. It's a wide piece, and I don't want it to be that wide. So I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to rip it there. Now let's see if that works a little better for me. There's some strings that come off as you do that. And so you can rip your sorry silk to be the width that you want if you have some that is too wide for you your project that you're doing. I've got lots of string here. I'm going to attach this right up here, but it's not quite what I want yet. Oh goodness, isn't that cute? So I'm going to pull this up out of my pocket. Oh sure, what do I do? Glue it in there? No. <laughs> You have to get into the pocket, Kathy. Okay, so I'm just going to add some glue on my tab. And I'm going to glue my bow right on, just like that. I'm going to trim this off. My others have longer piece to work with, but, oh, that color is just so gorgeous. So there we have our little, ah, oh, no, goodness, our torn window pocket with our journaling card. Oh, goodness, isn't that adorable. 
I think that's so cute. It's not hard. It's easy. You get to use pictures that maybe you wouldn't be able to use because let me show you some that I have made. All right, let me move this out of the way. So we have this one, and then I made this beautiful green one, and this is the one with the sticker. This came out of this from this sticker book right here. This is not a book. It's a sheet. Eight pieces. And so that's where I got that from. And then we take this out and I just got a picture from the book and I put it on the journaling card with a little bit of sorry silk there at the top for a bow. Isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness, so sweet. Now, ooh, this one's pretty. This one's kind of a bluish lavender. This is a magazine page. I'm going to turn it and see. See, it's a little shiny. But look how pretty it is on there. And I used the music paper as the background, and so I just brought the music paper over onto the journaling card as well. So the next one that I have is another green one. I used a stamp and some fabric here, and I just used similar pictures from the book and just pop it right back in there like that. So very cute. And here's a lavender one. Oh, isn't that one yummy? A shabby dabby doo da umbrella. These are Tracy Fox labels. This stamp I should have said is from My Porch Prints. And then inside we have another picture from the book. And of course the Sorry Silk is from Crimson Heart Studios. You guys, these are quick, they're easy, they're fun, and you can use things like pictures out of a book or even magazine pictures. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.